Hi guys, this is Anash Sharma, and in this session we will discuss Power BI Dex functions, path, then path length, path item, path item reverse, and path contains. So first of all, we talk about the path function. What is a path function? Path function returns a delimited text which contain all the parents to the current row. What does it mean? Delimited text. Delimited text means a series of text separated by some separator. So and generally it's a pipe sign. So path function it is used when in case of generally when you want to access the hierarchy of some employees. Suppose you have a table. In a table you have employee ID, employee, then manager, and the manager of managers. So to represent the hierarchy of this data, you can use the path. So as you see in the syntax, in path, we have to supply only two parameters. First one is the ID column name, second the parent column name. In the first one, ID column name, we have some rules. In first parameter, all the value must be the unique, whether it's a numeric value or text value. Second rule, the data type of this column must be the same as the parent column name. These are the two rules for this one. And in case of the second parameter, the value could be repeated, but make sure that value exists in the, uh, in the first parameter column name. Second rule, the data type of the parent column name must be the same as the ID column name. So these are the rules we have to follow for using the path. How the path function works, we can check with this diagram. So we have a table. In table we have employee and uh, manager of the employee. If we check both the, from the bottom, then Maria. Maria is the manager of the Gabriel. Again, the Gabriel is the manager of the Frank and Gabriel also manager of the Adam. And Adam also is the manager of the Taylor. So in the right side, we can check the hierarchy in the Maria. Under the Maria, we have the Gabriel. And again, the under the Gabriel, we have another two managers, Adam and the Frank. Again, under the Adam, we have another two managers, that's Edward and Taylor. Under the Frank, we have the Cindy and the Dean. So this kind of hierarchy, we can represent using the path function. So we have some rule. Value in first column must be the unique in the employee column. Value in the second column don't have to be unique in the manager column. The value could be the duplicate value, say Adam Adam, but we have to make sure these value exist in the first column. I will check how to use the path function in Power BI Desktop. So you can see we have some data and already we have seen the data in the diagram. The employee and the manager. Okay. So now, I want one more column displaying the hierarchy of the manager. Means the employee, then his manager, and the his manager means level of the managers. So for this purpose, new column, then manager level and path then first parameter id column name means employee it's a unique column then second is the parent that is the manager so here important thing is the data type of both columns employee and manager is the same means text now i execute this function so we have a hierarchy. In the first column, the Ma Maria is the manager of the Gabriel. Then Gabriel is the manager of the Adam, and Adam is the manager of the Edward. Second, Maria, then Gabriel, then Adam. Adam is the manager of the Taylor. So this kind of hierarchy we can create using the path function. So this is called the delimited text separated by the pipe sign. Now we check the path length. Path length function returns the number of items in the delimited text as you can see in the example 
say Maria, Gabriel, Edmund, Edward and these are separated by the pipe sign. So there are four items. That's why we get the four, then three, then two. And this path line function, it needs only one parameter that is the path. Now we check the practical of the path line function. Say new column, then path line path then employee comma employee bracket close now enter so as you can see the first line there are four items the second again four then third fourth then fourth four and fifth row it's a three item again three then two then two so these are the path i length of the path function. Now we check the path item function. Path item function, it returns the item from the given position. So as you can see in the syntax, path item with the path, then position number and type, it's a optional because it's in square parameter, square bracket. So you can define here, let's say integer text. In the example, you can see we have a Maria Gabriel, it's a delimited text and separated by the pipe sign. So there are four items. So suppose we want to take out the Gabriel, then position of the Gabriel is two. As you can see, the every item has a position and the position starts from the left side. So here we are taking out the two. It means out the output is the Gabriel. Now we check the practical of the path item. new column then path item path item manager then comma position number say 2 and that is the option integer or text option okay so at the position number we have the Gabriel from the left side Maria Maria if we change the position say 3 so in the first row on the third position we have the Adam that's why we have the Adam and in this row Maria Gabriel Frank on the third position we have the Frank so now we check the path item reverse path item reverse is very similar to the path item all the difference is when the number is counted out item is counted so it is counted from the right side or backward side so as you can see the example path item reverse then Maria Gabriel Adam and Edwin and position is 2 it means then the position is taken from the right side so Edward is the first position Adam is the second position so Adam is the right answer now we check the practical of the path item reverse new column path employee then manager then position say two then enter so you can see from the right side the path we have the item two then two in this line on the second position from the right side backward on the second position we have the Gabriel that's what we do. 
So this is the difference between the path item or path item reverse. Now we check the path contains function. This function checks whether an item exists in the path or not and return the result in true or false. Say new column. path contains then path manager then item say abc now if i try this abc so abc does not exist in any path that's why in all columns the result is false if I try say Adam, so the first column Adam true, it means Adam is there, this item, and second Adam is there, and false, no Adam is there. This one. So this is how the path contain function works. So guys, this was all about the different type of the path function in Power BI DEX. Thanks for watching the video.